Hello everyone, my name is Lanto90 and welcome back to my tutorial series on Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So in the last episode, we uh, got ourselves prepared and did everything we could pretty much in this uh, starting building, the evac shelter that we started. We've uh, taken care of a lot of our cold problems because this game has nuclear win winter implemented now. We can see we're, we're pretty warm overall. Our hands are still a little bit cold, but... We're kind of out of things that we can craft for our hands that are any warmer than what we got. At least for the encumbrance level. If we can find some leather gloves, that would be an improvement. Or some tactical gloves if we get lucky. But uh, we'll get into that when we start looting, which is what we're going to do today. So, finished everything we can do here pretty much. Might come back, might not. Uh, we can always run there for uh, defensive purposes. So we need to think about... Um, where we should uh, hit first with our looting. I think I already went over this, but this is a refugee center. This has a bunch of NPCs that you can interact and trade with and kill if you want. Now, right now they have us horribly outgunned though, so we're not going to really be looting from them. We will uh, probably be stealing one of their cars at some point though, because their cars work. Most of the cars we find on the street won't work. Houses are always a eh, pretty safe bet. There's nothing that usually... Nothing bad usually spawns in them. There's a couple of zombies sometimes, but other than that, it's not too bad. And you're pretty much just getting... I consider them like land, random loot locations. You don't know what you're really going to get. But uh, you can usually hope for food and maybe medical supplies. Basic ones. A jewelry store I've never been to. I don't see a need to go to one. Uh, same thing for the furniture store. I don't can't really think of a reason you'd go to them. Maybe we'll take a look at them at some point just to find out. Dojo, again, another building I don't really think would probably hold anything worth our time. More houses. Uh, parks have a lot of zombie children in them. Usually they have fences up so the children can't get out, but sometimes they are not fenced in. In which case you're going to be killing a lot of zombie children, which is going to make you sad. Parking lots, I think, have a higher chance of spawning cars that actually work, but every street here is going to be spawning cars. Usually they won't work, though. Houses, houses, houses. Grocery store. This one's important for us to get to. Um, not for food, necessarily, because houses actually do have a ton of food in the refrigerator. And I kind of like the idea of just leaving the food in the grocery store, because I think uh, refrigerators do make food last longer. So if you have, uh, you leave the food in the refrigerators in the grocery store, it'll last longer. Unless you're going, so if you, unless you're living somewhere that has a refrigerator, then I suppose you could. But I don't have a, I don't have a feeling need to rush it. Radio station, I don't think really has anything. There might be plot kind of stuff related in it. House gardening supply, gardening supply is good if you need farming stuff. Arcade can't really think of a use for. Sporting goods are good. There's usually backpacks and better clothing gear kind of stuff there. Of course, we've made our own backpack at this point. Another grocery store. There's a bank. I don't think there's a need to go to the bank. Church. I don't think there's a big need to go there. Garages are awesome. They have all the stuff you need to... Or they usually drop stuff you need to uh, fix cars up. Even if we grab one of these cars, we'll still have to do some repairs to it. Pizza parlor is not terribly interesting. At least that version. My modded Five Nights at Freddy's version is a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Uh, clothing store has all sorts of good clothing and stuff. Might want to go there eventually. Parks, bowling alley, that's kind of pointless. Gas stations are good for once you have a vehicle to refuel. Another clothing store. And generally, the deeper into town you go, the more zombies are going to be. Um, not only because it's just deeper and you can expect there to be more zombies, but... I think there actually is programming, like, the deeper you go in, the more zombies spawn in general. Not necessarily just what the houses and stuff say to spawn on their own. Could be slightly wrong on that. Um, looks like it's about midday right now. This is like a sun meter. If you don't carry some kind of watch or something, you'll have this instead. To some degree, this is almost more helpful, because you'll know exactly when, or you have a better idea of when sundown and stuff is this way. But if you have a watch, you can watch and figure out when sundown is and stuff. And yeah, 
it's clear, which means it's not hot because it's not sunny, and it's not bad because it's not raining or anything either. They are comfortable and rising. Our mouth is warm. We take off our knit scarf. I feel like I already tried to do this and it was a little bit too cold without it. And it's at minus 14. That's not great, but as long as it's green, it's fine. We won't drop our scarf in case we need it again. All right, so let's head down. I usually tend to follow the road. Our safe mode got no, no, that our safe mode triggered. Not every animal is going to trigger your uh, safe mode. Like I don't think this bobcat over here is triggering it. No, it's fine. But uh, dog, regular dogs will. I'm not exactly sure why. I think they really need to fix that because there shouldn't be a reason for the dogs to trigger it. The dogs don't attack you. Unless they walk into each other and then they attack each other and then they attack you. But they just should fix that so that can't happen. I actually think I'm about making my own mod for it if I can figure out how I would do that. We're just going to go to this first house here. Kind of considering living at this house. It's not too much farther away from the water and forest than the uh, evac shelter is, but it'll have a refrigerator, probably. Again, like I said, I also like to explore up the road, but we're probably going to have to wait till that for uh, once we have a car. So now that we're getting close to town, we need to pay attention if there's zombies. So just walk a little bit slower. Um, these cars look a little bit interesting here. Like, what is this? This car doesn't look like a normal car. Oh, it's a road roller. That's weird. I don't think I'd ever want that. Eh, maybe we can squish a lot of zombies with it. But... In the north I hear where ooh, this car might be working. Oh my god, it's an RV. Okay. Oh. Uh you look at the vehicles by pressing E and pointing at them. It's kind of the same as looking at items that are laying around. So there's a few things you want to look at at a vehicle to see if it's working. First, you can look down here and see if it has enough wheels to drive, and I'll just say enough. Might might not, might mean there isn't. Uh, some wheels are broke, but could mean they're all fine. This one is extremely damaged. These colors pretty much tell you how bad shape things are. If they're grayed out, they're broken, or they're completely useless. But anything other than that, they actually still work, depending on what they are. Um, functionality might be broken. But, uh, yeah, so you check the wheels, everything, all the wheels were fine uh, while they work. Um, then you also can check the controls wherever the driver's seat is. It's usually red hashtag like this, the side of the car. And we can see here the controls are in perfect condition, the dark green is perfect condition. Uh, seat is fine, the seat also has to be okay. Seatbelt, it doesn't matter too much if it's broken or not, but it's for your own safety. You'll also want to check the battery, it's fine. The alternator is fine. Engine's a little bit roughed up, but it'll work. Um, I think that's all we have to check. Everything else, uh, gasoline tank. It's pretty beat up, but it works. Well, this was not really something I was expecting to see. This is our vehicle. We don't need to go steal one from those guys. This thing is working. The engine is on on it. I walk into it. You can see down here it says press. Uh, oh, I don't know what this word for that thing is, but the exponential sign. So shift uh, six. I took control of it. That means I'm automatically driving it right now. That's only because it's on. If the car wasn't on, uh, this wouldn't happen. Uh, I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to tell it to stop driving. That will turn the engine off. I just didn't want the batteries and stuff to run out any further. Speaking of the batteries, it has 1% battery, so it's gone pretty much. The stuff doesn't recharge very fast in this game. I find it's just more efficient to go find a battery that's in good condition and just switch it out with this one. We have no gas, so we can't actually drive the thing anywhere. But that's not too hard to fix, but, uh, as long as we get the right stuff. 
We also have a water tank. That's uh, pretty much empty, but we can refill it with clean water. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is what we're going to be living in, in the long run. I'm going to probably go take this thing and then park it by the river. As soon as we can. But right now we can't live in it. It's not. It's not any better than the house next to it. Oh, uh, I uh, use the Shift A key to activate the doorway with my crowbar since we're wielding it. If you're not wielding the crowbar, you have to press A and then find it in your inventory and then use it in the direction. It's much faster if you're wielding the crowbar and can just do Shift A and point in the direction. But uh, usually doors are just locked. I'm, I've gotten it to the point where I don't even try to open them without activating the crowbar. One thing I like to do is I like to close the windows. You can press C and then point in the direction of the window. I do this so zombies can't spot me while I'm inside. And so uh, I know which houses I've been to. So these red H's are chair, uh, couches. I don't think there's anything in this room. Yeah, there's nothing in this room. I tried to do a shift V and there's nothing in it. So there's like a table there. So here is the bathroom. So if we look around... Over here is the bathtub. It's pretty large. Usually, well, they might have changed it now. But uh, it used to be that the bathtub was just one square big. You know, that's a little bit unrealistic, so I think they're working on making that more realistic by making them big, bigger. There's a jug of vinegar there. There's a sink here and a toilet here. Toilets always spawn with water in them, so you'll see it says there's, there's a water here. Now, toilet water is not drinkable, or it is drinkable, but it's, uh, not good for you. But uh, you can purify it if you want. I stepped into the bathtub though and I noticed that this uh, corner spot lit up blue. That means there's an item there, so let's look at what it is. Oh, my uh, numpad is turned off. You have to make sure numlock is on. Desk mask. So here's the thing about mouth items. Is there's almost no mouth items that don't have encumbrance. Or, yeah. Most of them do have encumbrance. Even this little tiny desk mask this is, for a while, is like one of the light, or I think it still is. It's like the second lightest thing you can put on your mouth here. And it has one encumbrance. And mouth encumbrance is terrible. Let's just grab it. I'll put it on just to show you guys. So let's look right now. I do uh, shift tube ampersand key. Go to our mouth. See, it says gonna cost plus zero points because we're not encumbered. Put this thing on. Let me check it again. Plus five now. Well, I guess one one isn't too bad, but still, it's five movement points. Uh, not really down. Not really down to clown with that, so I'm going to drop that for now. Uh, gallon jugs of anything are really awesome because gallon jugs can hold like twelve units of water compared to a plastic bottle, which only holds two. This one's filled with vinegar, though, which means it's also very heavy. And these do take up a lot of volume. So when I'm doing my first run to gather supplies in this town, I tend to not, not grab these. Because uh, I need to make sure I have enough food for a couple days and stuff first before I grab anything for long-term plans. That being said, I do know that vinegar is very important because you can use it to make batteries. So uh, we'll, we'll want to come back for this vinegar and the gallon of the gallon jug itself gets very useful. Not going to mess around with that water. I think it's very sick to drink it. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what this room is, but uh, can of cheese spread in it. I think it's a. Uh, I'm going to grab that can of cheese spread. I think it's like a uh, pantry. Pretty big. This is a bedroom. It's little purple hashtags or beds. Uh, you want to step up to these dressers, the little uh, brown brackets, because they uh, they uh, only show up if there's stuff inside them if you're right next to it. There's nothing else in that bedroom. Okay, here's the kitchen. It's kind of a narrow kitchen. I'm going to close the window, and uh, we're going to look at these things one at a time. Butter knife, spoon... Uh, crackers, but they don't really give us much nutrition or quench, or they actually hurt our quench. So I'm just going to leave them. Steak knife, heat pack, empty display racks. 
a plastic bag of yeasts might be good for some uh, more complex cooking stuff. So I'll grab it, even though you can't actually... Well, you can eat them, but it's not a good idea. Minus 10 enjoyability for only one nutrition. So we'll grab it in case we can make food with it. A cheese spread. Take that. And raw spaghetti. I'm not going to grab this right now. It's not quite as light as the uh, yeast was, and it is a complex cooking ingredient thing. And kind of the same deal for a pot. We do really need one for purifying water and stuff, but it's another huge item, or a huge volume item. We'll uh, grab it later. Pretty much every house spawns in them, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And a root beer, I'll take that. That was from the fridge. It's the uh, light blue racket. Uh, they're another item you have to stand by to see what's in it. Glass. And this is the sink. There's coffee syrup in the sink. Coffee syrup is actually amazing. I didn't used to know. I didn't used to know this, but in my last game, if you have a atomic coffee maker and coffee syrup, you can make atomic coffee, which uh, keeps your guy like awake, your character awake for like two days, and uh, gives them stimulants too. So yeah, I'm grabbing it. Can't use it yet. And use it, but it's not going to help us yet. Uh, go into this. Okay, this is outside again. Interesting house. And we may move into it for a time. Uh, yeah, this rolling car isn't very useful, but this one here is a solar powered car. Um, yeah, I'm going to check things. We have the wheels, which is good. I can check exactly how many are going on here. I already know it's not drivable, but I'm going to get to that in a moment. Okay, all the wheels are there. The seat, we have the controls. Uh, the seat belt into the seat, that's good. Gen, large electric motor is there. Okay, so here's where the problem is, though. Solar cars don't have the car battery. Instead, they have these storage batteries. This one is completely broken and it's also empty. So this car isn't going to charge. Oh, there's another one over there. They're both broken. They're both not charging. So this sucks. Because I was kind of hoping we are living in this house because the car is nearby. Um, time would simulate for it and the uh, solar panels would charge when it was sunny. But um, since it doesn't actually have storage batteries that work. It's not actually going to charge even if we live near the house. Usually they never charge us because they're too far away. Okay, still taking my time. Still don't see any zombies. Remember, our spawn rate is down. Normal settings. So uh, we're not going to see nearly as many as there usually would be. Uh, this one's controls are broken. Everything else seems pretty good. And it has a fair amount of gas, so we might be taking the gas out of this one and putting it in the RV. Actually, I can pretty much guarantee you that's what I'm going to do. It's a motorcycle. It's uh, just really in bad shape. The wheels broke. Um, that wheel's also broke, and the box is broke, so you couldn't carry anything with you. Yeah, we're going to skip that. Now, this building to our right was the jewelry store, furniture store. I'm just going to ignore them. And move on to the house. See, I'm walking into the door and it says it's locked, so I just activate the crowbar. It's the windows. Take a look at this on the ground. It's a root beer. I'll take that. Cell phone. This will uh, has two volumes, so it's not the best uh, time-telling item. But uh, it will give us an actual time. It's 2.40 now. You can see our sundial thing went away, and now it just says what time it is. I think it gets dark around 6, maybe 8. Italian seasoning is very good, so I'm going to grab it. It's used for a lot more stuff than you would think. So. And then again, it's another example of a thing I didn't think was useful, and then I found out later what's. Glass bottle of Chardonnay. So we get drunk easy with this character, so we don't want that. But knowing it's here, we might want to come back to it for uh, 
making bandages. Because we need alcohol for that. Uh, sugary shields, cereals aren't very good. They don't give us much quench. A uh, whole lot of enjoyability and they carry a lot of volume. What they are, so I'm going to ignore it. Sewing kits are amazing. I grab them whenever I can. There's like pretty much, eh, there's only one volume on them. But it's worth it. Wrench is very important for repairing cars and things. And duct tape is also very important for the same reason. All of that. Don't need a teapot. There's nothing in the sink and fridge. Okay, this is the bathroom. Salt water. Yeah, salt water can be useful. Take it. Saline solution is amazing because it counts as disinfectant. I'll take that as well. More of it. I uh, don't need Ambien, but we'll take the vitamins. Um, empty, empty. Okay, so toilets are really annoying. I'm just going to... I'll actually show you why they're annoying. So obviously it looks like there's something on the toilet. It's water. But there can also be other things in the toilet. But if you just press E and point to it like normal, it'll ask you for a container for water. I don't have one. And then if you say, if I, I, I escaped out of that menu. Oh, it says, do you want to drink from your hands? Oh, no, that's a terrible idea, so no. Then your head says, never mind. So it doesn't really help you to do that. Instead, just press Shift E, or Shift V, I should say. And uh, look around to see if there's actually something in the toilet other than water. But there's only water in the toilet. The ambient's over here. Yeah. Air clan shoes? Yeah, I don't think so. Close this windows. Uh, there's blankets and pillows on this bed, which is good. Because uh, the house we were thinking of uh, staying in didn't have any blankets and pillows. And we're going to need... Uh, at least a blanket. I don't know if the pillow actually does anything yet. But the blanket, if you have it on the bed and you sleep in the sleep in the spot the blanket's at, and you'll automatically use it for sleeping, and your guy will be happier. Cigarettes, if your guy was addicted to tobacco, you could use that or sell them or something, but your guy gets addicted to things easily, and he's not addicted to it yet, so you might as well not get him started on that path. Marbles, potato chips don't really help with Okay, so there's a couple of suits in here, in this uh, dresser. I know suits uh, give a lot of uh, cloth if we were to disassemble them. That said, they're very encumbering, so we're not going to grab them. We'll just come back to them later if we need them. Did I check this? I think it was a cigarette. No, that's marble seat. And that's pretty much it. This building. Yeah. Okay. Dojo, dojo. Okay, there's some parks here nearby, so we're probably gonna start seeing some child zombies at least. Might not have to attack them. I think we'll just keep heading down this row of houses and probably stop at the grocery store on the way down to get a cart. Um, I guess we can go into dojo just to show you guys there isn't really a whole lot in here. See, so there's just this big, huge space. Uh, it's a Tommy mat, the fighting mat thing. So it's a lot of wasted space there. There's wasted space in this hallway. And there's these lockers. They have karate outfits, but uh, I don't see it used to those. Protective mouthpiece could be good, I suppose. This one doesn't particularly fit us, but it says here that it can be refitted, so we can refit it. And it has encumberment of zero and has some protection. 50% coverage, so it's not guaranteed to protect us, but. It'll take half the hits at least. So I actually am going to grab it. There's a chance we'll find one that fits, and I'll just drop this one. But otherwise, we'll just make it fit later. Just more variety outfits. There's not really anything interesting in these. Sink and a toilet. Boxing monthly. Yeah, see, there's nothing in these. Mess around with them. We're hungry. I tend to prioritize uh, things that are going to go bad. This thing's blue, so it will go bad. It isn't a tin can, though, so it's not going to go bad anytime soon. But I still prioritize them. Eat it. Actually made us happy, which is good. So going to uh, eat it again. And one more time. There we go. Now we're full. 
Now we have an empty tin can in our inventory. Um, I'll hold on to it for now. Again, I used to not do that, but you can use them for batteries, so I do that now. We can check if these have uh, good uh, storage containers. That one's yellow. That one's in good condition. So if we pulled the storage battery out of this one and brought it up to the one up high, uh, we could potentially uh, start charging that other one up. This one has two broken solar panels, though, so we don't want this one. It's probably also missing other stuff. Oh, I see a zombie child to the southwest. Just going to ignore it for now unless it gets closer. Your car, another good storage battery, another one. All right. This one actually has two really good ones that are in mint condition, so we'll be taking its batteries. And, uh, we'll have a solar car at least going. Still, my main thing is I want to uh, get the uh, RV working. I should actually put a note on this house. So I'm going to scroll over to the house, shift in, and I'm going to tell it RV. That way, even should remember, but just in case I forget, we'll be able to remember. Okay, so we know there are kids this park over here. So if I go to the front of this house where the door is, you can see where the front is by where the uh, arrow is pointing. If I go to where the front is, they're going to see me and possibly chase me around. Actually, we see a zombie right now. The south. He may or may not see us. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to activate this window instead of activating the door. Again, it can break the window to do that, but I feel it's better than going through the front door this time. Ooh, chili con carne is very good. Look how much nutrition it gives. I'm going to definitely take that. I'm going to take the lemonade. And these, they sound scary. Irradiated. What? Uh, yeah, they, they sound really scary, but these actually mean that they were sterilized with radiation, not that they're like going to kill you radiation. These are actually amazing. They never go bad. Frying pan's amazing. And the pot. But again, it's high volume. Now, once we get the cart, I will no longer complain about high volume stuff. We're going to take it no matter what. But we don't have our shopping cart yet, so we're not going to do it. Take that aspirin. You need aspirin for first aid kits and just so they make a decent painkiller. Caffeinated chewing gum sounds pretty lame, but it's actually amazing. It gives you a stimulant boost if you use them. And then we can shift V to see if there's stuff in the toilet. And there actually is, so you have to do this again. This time it'll pop up a list of stuff. I'm taking the vitamins out of the toilet. Very appetizing. No. Little wrap I'm going to ignore. Oh, there's the freaking park. It is one that's closed in with fences, though, so it's not the end of the world. They shouldn't be able to clean it. Um, MP3 players are amazing. I'm going to grab that. You can turn them on for morale boost. Being said, they do take batteries. So, Oh, another one. Awesome. Now, I only technically need one, but I'm going to take the batteries out. Ooh, a witch rust. Even better. So in this one, this is another time-telling item. This one, we equip it. So for one thing, it's not going to apply to our volume capacity at all. It's also just one less volume in general. I mean, actually, I don't remember exactly what the cell phone was, but I think this one's less volume. It says it doesn't cover anything, so it's not going to apply to our encumbrance at all. And even if it did, it has encumbrance of zero. It has a 1% coverage, so it actually has a chance to take a hit. Uh, so, uh, you know, just, you're kind of risking getting it broken, but it does have a chance of... It does have a protection of 6 and 6, so... uh it can actually take quite a beating, so if it does get hit, it's actually protecting it pretty well. So uh, we're going to take this, and we're also going to equip it. Shift P, Shift W. And now I'm going to drop the cell phone. So we don't need it anymore. Cocaine. <laughs> you really needed to get a... Uh, Bunch of speed really quick in a pinch. You could do that, but that's not what I'm planning to do. Hair leather gloves, like I said earlier, that these would actually be an improvement for our gloves. That said, they don't fit, but it says they can be refitted, so we'll be refitting them. That'll be a step up for us. Close the window. 
Another cell phone, actually. That's interesting. The same thing as everything? Yeah, it's everything. See back out the window. I'm not looking at any more of the cars because we kind of have an idea what cars we're going to use. We're going to use a solar car probably temporarily. And then we'll switch to the RV once I have it ready to go. Now, there's a zombie down here that we're going to have to fight. There's also a fat zombie down here now, too. We had to run into the zombies eventually. So the best thing to do... Uh, zombie spider, yet. Yeah. Turn off safe mode. And uh, go over to this... Uh, bush over here. This little hashtag is a bush. Like we talked about before in my episode 1 video, or what not to do. Even though it was a what not to do video, I did show you some actual tactics. Getting them stuck on things like this. Slow them down a ton, make it so you can just wail on them. Oh, you did hit us in the right leg. Uh, only did a half tick of damage there. And it didn't get infected, so that's fine. Now he's dead. I can smash his body. This is thoroughly pulped. These two zombies are kind of going to get on me at the same time, which I don't like. Uh, he lunged at me, but I hit him. Or I dodged it, I should say. And now he's dead. The fat zombie is going to get onto the bush. It's still a bush, even though there's bodies there. Hit. Smack. Oh, he bit my left leg. Okay. We'll hit on him. When he turns blue like that, it means I stunned him, which is good. Alright, now I'm looking at what they dropped. I don't see anything interesting, though. I smash the last two bodies. It usually smashes both, or it smashes all the bodies in the pile if you smash once, but usually I check anyway just to make sure they all got smashed. Comfortable and rising, so our feet are actually hot. Interesting. We make stockings, or we just... Oh, we're wearing winter boots. I forgot about that. So actually... Yeah, these, these shoes, there's no shoes in here that are better than what we're wearing. But uh, I forgot that we needed to switch suit shoes. These uh, winter boots aren't doing us good well. Um, We got hit a couple times, but... We're not bleeding, we're not... We only took a half a tick of damage. Uh, we're not infected. We are in five pain, so I will go to the aspirin, or the inventory, and activate my aspirin. Usually take two. That's what you're supposed to do. Don't know how much aspirin actually helps, but... Supposed to. Placebo effect. Anything. Did drop, our pain did drop by one, but I don't know if that was necessarily because of the aspirin or not. Close that window. Zombie might have seen us, but I think we're fine. Insanely an eye drop. Ooh, can these be... I'll grab them. They're volume zero. No. Vitamins. Oh, I should actually take some of these vitamins. Cotton balls are useful. Um, yeah, let's take some of these vitamins. I have 80 now. Take two of them. Um, I don't know the exact numbers involved with them, but, uh, vitamins will give you, uh, they're supposed to help with your chances of getting sick and stuff, so I tend to take them. Uh, resealable plastic bottle of protein powder. Um, you can mix that with water if we need to. Okay, there's nothing in the toilet. Okay, so this little uh, yellow symbol is a staircase. There can be bad things downstairs. Um, I don't have a flashlight. But yeah, there can be bad things down here. We'll just run. Okay, there is bad stuff down here. These are spider webs. So yeah, when you go down a staircase, uh, be ready to run. Oh, that said, there's a glass flask of mutant gin in the under the hood book. That I, both of these I want, so I'm gonna grab those only because they're next to me, and then I'm gonna leave. See ya. Close the door behind me just because there's a chance if anything saw you, it'll chase you back out. Gallon jug of ammonia. Again, gallon jugs are great. Ammonia is probably good for something. 
but uh, I don't want the volume right now. See, Wrigley's great. Take that. Let's see, we're pretty much to, actually, we're over halfway on our volume. So even though I'm being careful with what I grab, running out. And I see here a lot of stuff I want. It's the salad, cheese, hamburger, energy cola, root beer, grapes, crispy cranberry, beer, lettuces, and some beer. I'm not going to take the beer, but I'm going to take everything else, bring me up to P1 encumbrance. Raw spaghetti, no thank you. See a zombie child, I know. He can't get to me though, so I'm not worried. Nothing in the dresser. Probably blankets and stuff on the bed, but that's not important. A swimmer zombie, I think, outside. Hopefully he didn't see me. Cigarettes, broken console. Okay. But uh, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.